you had a great quarter. Um, there's a number of reasons behind that. Parlays were good. I call them accumulators, but parlays were, were particularly good, but competition is picking up there. There's a number of other reasons that kind of come into the mix. But my question really is, is this quarter a sustainable story? Is this something that you could repeat quarter after quarter? Well, I think if you look throughout each quarter this year and even stemming into last year, we've been doing this consistently. So I feel very confident that we can continue on the trajectory we're on. Um, the team's been executing really well. Our product is in a great spot. I feel like we do have the best product in the market now. I wouldn't have necessarily said that a year ago, but mm -hmm. I do feel that way now. And I think we're going to continue to innovate. So. Uh, we're certainly very excited about what we, we think the future holds. So Jason, talk about that because you provided a range of revenue and EBITDA expectations for next year also, and they were well above the analyst estimates. What do you think you need to get to get the high end of that range? Like more legalized gambling for certain states, like more sports coming out, different platforms, like what do you think? So our guide only includes states that have legalized already, so we don't need more legalization to hit those numbers. More legalization might actually mean more investment next year, but also more upside. And um, you know, But that, that's probably unlikely. Most of the time, if a state's going to launch, it usually legalized in the year before. So there might be some, but uh, we'll have to see. Um, so really, no, it's just executing well in the existing states that we're in now and continuing to do things we're doing on product, on customer service, um, continuing to optimize the business for uh, increased hold rate, decreased promotional rate. Um, we just expect our, our team to continue to be able to do that. We have uh, forecasted a decline in external marketing year over year. I think that's the first year in a long time that we've been able to say that. So um, lots of good things both on the cost and revenue side that I think are driving tailwinds for the business in the coming years. Competition is coming though. Um, Penn's ESPN bet. Always. That's going to be a factor. I, okay, competition is good. But what does it mean? What does it mean for you? I, let's come back to this issue of kind of how you're going to do over the next few courses. Major new competitor in some ways on the park. What do you think that means? Well, I think what's great about this industry is that it's been competitive pretty much since day one. And that hasn't slowed. Um, certainly, we've dealt with multiple waves of new competitors coming in. Uh, we've been able to have really good results throughout those periods. So I see no reason why we can't continue to do that. I think right now, the market is growing incredibly fast. I think actually new competition coming in might even accelerate the growth of the market. Um, and really, it just, it's just good for the consumer. It pushes mm -hmm. everyone to innovate. It pushes everyone to do better. And um, we're, you know, our culture has been, I think, basically because we've been competing pretty, pretty in a pretty competitive industry since day one. Yeah. Our culture is one where we love to compete, we love to win, and um, we're not afraid to take on anybody. But we also have great respect for all of our competition and know that they're going to work their hardest. So, so right. uh, it's a very exciting time for the consumer, I think. So clearly, sports is crushing it, right? I have to be totally honest, I have been a reality TV fan now because there are no dramas on TV right now. There are no comedies because of the, uh, the actor strike and before the writer strike. And I'm genuinely wondering if when we see new stuff coming on the market, do you think that sports viewership and that engagement level does trail off? Um, when you see new shows coming on the market, you yeah. mean? You know, it's hard to say uh, what the relationship is. I mean, obviously, you know, there's only so much time in the day, but sports has been pretty consistently growing in audience for a long time, whether one or two years or up or down in TV viewings, you know, you never know. But if you look over the course of really uh, forever, sports has continued to grow and, um, you know, which sports might change over time. Uh, 75 yep. years ago is a different set of sports than it is today, but definitely there's always been that. And I think especially in you know our culture, uh, really in, in, in Western European culture and really all cultures, sports has been something yeah. that, that's always been so core and generational, and I don't see that changing. Yeah, I, love is blind. I, honestly, uh, <laughs> there's been various TV shows that Alex has spent a lot of time talking about. I didn't know you were going to out I, me I on TV up. for that. That, wow. I, I'm gonna, yeah, those <laughs> conversations, I'm so glad I've been part of them. Love is blind. It's been fantastic. Jason, is, is that a reason, reasonable kind of story, though, to think about? Is, is sports reality TV? Is that a fair comparison? Is that how we should be valuing sports? Is that like, you, you kind of think about what the entertainment industry is doing at the moment, and we're all trying to figure out kind of what happens with streaming, what happens with betting, what happens with entertainment more broadly. Are they all part of the same bucket? 
Well, sports really has always been the original reality TV, I think, you know, and it's the best story because it's totally unscripted. Um, and you never know what's going to happen. And, and people have real affinities that they can develop, not just for one season and then the cast changes, but over many generations. So uh, I think that that absolutely is an element of why people love it. It's all the same core things as you know, watching something like reality TV. And I think for that reason, you're going to continue to see sports thrive. And the content's just so good right now. And there's so many. I mean, it's really a cross sport, too. I mean, I can't. You look across all the major sports, and really, it's been as good good as it's ever been in terms of the content and the quality of the gameplay. So I really feel like the future yep. is bright in terms of sports viewership. By the way, Taylor Swift uh, isn't hurting the NFL viewership either, bringing huh, some new true, people true. in. And yeah, so yeah. that's a, when, just when you thought you, you had the you, you couldn't think of a new way that she could unlock an audience for somebody, there she goes. So uh, I'm sure the NFL is enjoying yeah. that.